Jesus in my life. I'm living for his glory. I'm on fire every day. And oh, shalom, friends. Oh, my name is Buchi Odivo. Well, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone out there. It's a year the Lord has given us the privilege to dispense his counsel and his might on the face of the earth. Okay, we have been privileged by the message of God to proclaim the year 2023, our year of perfection. And we are activating this from the scriptures. I want to read from Hebrews chapter 6, from verse 1. It said, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, that's the teachings, of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God, of the doctrine of baptisms and the laying of hands, and of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. This we will do if God permit. Praise the Lord. Now, God is activating, telling the church, His church, and the seasons we are moving into the dimensions of perfection. That the purpose of the doctrine, there is, we can't let doctrine is valid. Doctrines are the teachings and the values of the Christianity being taught. But the, there is an emphasis by the Spirit of Christ now to now begin to move the purpose of the doctrine is in the place of practice, in the place of demonstration as in conduct, character, and the manifestation of God's, God's power on the earth. As a matter of fact, if you read down, you will see what, how, what we are moving into. Look at look what he said here in verse some. Um, Verse 4, for it is impossible for those who are once enlightened. That means the doctrine should be enlightened. It makes you a light to a world. It makes you a direction. The Bible said the word in, in John, the word produces life and the life makes us the light of men. So the purpose of doctrine is to make us to become a light to our world. That in the midst of a gross darkness, the prophet Isaiah was speaking, he said, darkness shall fill the earth, gross darkness, but it shall arise. You shall arise, your light will shine in the midst of that darkness. So as the age is getting gradually dragging to an end, the light, the word of God, which has become our life, will be a light to our world. We're going to radiate the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now that is the purpose of the doctrine, to become a light. Light in conduct, light in lifestyle, in the name of Jesus. Light in power, in hearing miracles, signs and wonders. Then the lesson is that having tasted of the heavenly gift, coming to perfection, you have men and women who are going to participate. Well, we'll be not just speakers, not just teachers of the teachers of the heavenly gifts. These are men. Who, look at what scripture said. He said, having tasted, participants, partakers. You know, the writer of Hebrew also said in the Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. He said, We are for holy brethren, partakers of of the heavenly calling consider the apostle and the high priest of our profession jesus there's going to be an emphasis on becoming a participant not just a communicator we have been communicating teaching but the hour and the season of demonstration has come any teaching that does not produce demonstration is not unto perfection any teaching any doctrine doctrines of christ that is not converting the soul of the believer transforming us in a place of conduct and character and lifestyle is not unto perfection so we are stepping into that realm where the believer begins to make visible the, the doctrines that we've been taught over the years hallelujah so we are first he said verse 4 i'm reading from hebrews 6 for now for it is impossible for those who are once enlightened so we're going to be a light the second we're going to be men who have tested the heavenly gift it's wanting to teach about the heavenly gift, the demonstrations, you know, heaven on earth, all the those dimensions. It's amazing to teach it. But it's another dimension to become a partaker, to demonstrate it on the earth. That's the season we have launched in. Hallelujah. And we are made partakers of the Holy Ghost. They are men who have yielded their soul to the operation of the Spirit that lives in their spirit. Glory be to God. So it's the emphasis is a is a season of perfection. And if you look up, look how when God began to teach me this, look at how God showed it to me. You know, 2023, 2023. That's 2023. Now, 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we are entering into the season of perfection. Not just for 2023, but it is like a prophetic launch team pad for the next seven years that's a move of god that's going to happen on the earth among the saints in the next seven years and what is this seven years 
from now 2023 to 2030 there's going to be emphasis on the practicality of christianity we're going to begin to see where doctrine produces lifestyle we're going to see where there's going to be we're going to recover words like holiness holiness purity of heart you know jesus said blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god there's going to be emphasis on this yeah, of conduct lifestyle and character which is an offspring of the doctrines of christ what Christ came to do. You know, in Genesis 1 26, the Bible says, Let us make man an image. We've seen the we have received the image. The image of God is the spirit of God in the believer. The image of God is Christ resident in the spirit of the believer. But you are moving further. It must be it must become in his likeness. Let us make man an image. After his likeness. Likeness that men can see, you know, men looking at a believer who carries the image of God, the image is not visible. It is when we become in the likeness, which is the configuration or the transformation or the conversion of the soul, that's when the image in the believer becomes visible. Now it's called Christ likeness. That was what happened in Antioch, and they say they are. Christians, they look like Christ. So this season, the next seven years, there's going to be emphasis on the believer looking like Christ visibly, not just a spiritual reality. The spiritual reality is the image. Once you gave, you accepted Christ. Christ came and made his, built his own uh, apartment called the Spirit Man. That's where he lives. But he wants to migrate. He wants to navigate to your personality, which is your soul. Now that is where the likeness is created. This is it. That is the perfection. We are now bringing to essence the purpose of our redemption that the world will now will see. So these ones are Christians. Before we begin to talk about the dominion, the dominance of the church, the rulership of the church in the visible realm. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are in the next seven years from 2023, which we have already stepped in a month of a year of perfection. We stepped into a season when we will make visible the reality of spiritual resources that we carry, which is Christ in the believer. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to encourage us. It's a, it's, 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 we're going to go beyond doctrines and the dogmas. That must be taught. But we're going to let, God's going to let emphasis on the believer. Yielding. Yieldedness will be emphatic in this season. Where the believer yields to the teaching, the doctrinal truths that will now produce the likeness of Christ. We will move from doctrines to perfection. Making the essence of the doctrine is the perfection. What is the perfection? Christ likeness. The character dimension. The conduct dimension. The power manifestation. Demonstration of strength and power of the age to come in our time. This month of January, we've targeted also our month of discernment. You know, every specific move of God comes with discernment. In the book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 1. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of a thunder, one of four be saying, Come and see. Verse 2. And I saw, behold, a white horse, he that sat on him, had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. So he, he didn't have a crown, it was given to him. So he, this is not Jesus, but I'm going to show you something. Given unto him, and he went forth, conquering and to conquer. Now this is the spirit of deception, deceit, which is already in the system. So it will take discernment. You see, it, it was what? He saw, behold, the horse, the horse was white. He that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given to him. White was supposed to be, as a matter of fact, he that will ride on the white horse is the king of kings and the lord of lords. But this one is a camouflage, it's a masquerade. The Bible said that the angel, Satan has now transformed to as an angel of light. It's going to be a religious deception, which is already on in the system. It's not going to be far, it's going to be in. There is a religious strength. We have men are going to be deceived. And one of the, the, the strength of this deception that man will play down on the strength of sin. That which tells the believer that sin does not matter. That is the deception. How will you be able to discern it? You will by the spirit of discernment. It will look churchy. It will look very religious. It will look, oh, this is it. It is it's, it's over. It's an amazing. It, it looks, this is, that's what we're looking for. But the intent, how do you discern this? it will not be able to confront your soul. It will not convict your soul. Any message does not bring the responsibility of the likeness of Christ in the soul of the believer 
is deception. So this month of January 2023, we want to take time and beyond January, we will deal with the spirit of discernment to see beyond the mask, to see beyond the veil. You know, I, I tell people, if, if, if Samson had seen Delilah beyond the beauties of Delilah, Samson would have understood that behind Delilah were the five lords of the, the Philistines. They were the ones who were sponsoring Delilah. So it takes the looking beyond the physical to see what is sponsored. It could be a message that sounds good. It could be a religious gathering. It could be something that looks, wow, looks very churchy. But the motivation is filled. It's a serpent behind it. So as we begin to engage the spirit of discernment, it is in the accuracy of discernment we know how to bring accurate healing. It's in the place of accurate discernment you can bring deliverance to a physical dimension of a man. So this month of January, We've been dealing with the spirit of discernment. How the believer can walk on earth and by the perception of what I call the balance class of the spirit, you'll be able to separate the child from the weight. I welcome you to the year of our perfection. And I declare by the spirit of grace, it's a process. It has begun. Salvation has come to your spirit. You know, it's just like when you talk about the butterfly. The first process of the butterfly starts first with the lava. Praise the name of the Lord. The lava you talk about, then you, you, you see the you see the transformation, the process of transformation that goes from there before it becomes the complete matured butterfly. It goes through that process. Now it also, you know, the lava, if you don't if the lava does not get to the destination of becoming a butterfly, it has not got into its perfect state. The perfection of the saint is that Jesus that lives in your spirit wants to rule your soul. So that he can rule over your physical body. So we are stepping into that realm. We are, we are yielding his spirit, our spirit. We yielded our spirit. Our minds, our soul must be yielded. Our physical body must become an instrument that God will use to demonstrate his glory on the face of the earth. You are welcome once again to the year of perfection. God bless you. I remain your host, Buchi Odibo. Look out for our teachings. Sundays, every, the fireplace we meet by 10 o'clock every Sunday. And on Thursday, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We move our service from the evening to morning. Every Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, we're on. In that same same network you're listening, listening to. And on, uh, on, uh, on Thursday, it's 5.30. Every Thursday, I'm on teaching God's Word. It's going to be an amazing time. God has promised us amazing things. On, on this Sunday, I'll be sharing with us a couple of things God has told me. That the move of God in the next seven years, we're expecting to see. We are in the best time. These are the days of power and glory. Be part of what God is doing. God bless you. Love you.